Hey everybody, I come to you with some difficult news today. I'm not really sure how to break it to all of you, but this is going to be my last video for Five Awesome Musicians. I don't want to get into details right now, I'm still trying to process everything. It's just been a difficult decision and I hope that you all will respect my privacy at this time and what? What? It's not today? It was yesterday? Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Never mind everybody, I thought today was April Fool's Day. It apparently is not. So yay, happy April 2nd. So anyway, I guess I'm not quitting Five Awesome Musicians and I guess it's not April Fool's Day anymore. Last week I kind of blew off the whole getting a degree in Chrisology thing. Uh, so, Chris, first off, here is my submission for a haiku. Actually, here is my real submission for a haiku. You also asked us what the first professional musical we saw was. JB copped out and said what his first Broadway musical was. I'm not going to cop out, even though I don't exactly remember if my first professional musical was Annie with Sally Struthers as Miss Hennigan or one of the touring productions of Miss Saigon. For argument's sake, let's go ahead and say it was Miss Saigon. <laughs> I hold a special place in my heart for Miss Saigon, even though I think it suffers from a lot of the problems that other mega musicals do. I will say that, especially compared with Les Mis, the songwriters learned how to use light motives better. The motives actually mean something rather than just being repetitive. Also, they do a much better job of it than Andrew Lloyd Webber does. So, when I went to see Miss Saigon, I was in ninth grade and my mom took me and my sister and we each got to bring a friend to the Auditorium Theater in Chicago. It was my first time in a real theater as well and in my memories I the theater is just massively huge. It has seats for thousands upon thousands of people and I remember us being in one of the mezzanines or the balconies somewhere way up top and just looking out upon the sea of seats and this ornate decoration and the huge stage. And maybe that's not all true, but I haven't been in that theater since then. And that's how I remember things. I do remember that I cried at the end. I guess that kind of set the standard for how I react to musicals nowadays because I tend to cry a lot at the end of musicals. Not always. I mean, obviously not always. I'm not going to cry at the end of something like Little Shop of Horrors, but I did cry at the end of Hedvig. I did cry at the end of Once. Countless other shows I've cried at the end of. So I guess that's just how my body's wired. To this day, I still tease my mom occasionally about taking me to see Miss Saigon when I was in ninth grade because I think it's funny. I tell her that she was a bad mom because what mom would take their 14 year old son to a show that's all about prostitution and murder and suicide and men humping Cadillacs and selling girls on the streets of Bangkok. It's a little risque subject material for a 14 year old. <laughs> I think it's funny though. Um, you know, and of course I'm not serious, and of course I'm grateful. Okay, now sometimes I throw off questions for our viewers just kind of willy-nilly, or sometimes I forget to actually include the question in the video, and I have to, like, make it up, you know, when I'm posting the video someplace. But I'm really curious what your first professional musical was. Not your first professional musical experience, like a concert, your professional musical theater musical performance thingy. Professional doesn't have to mean Broadway. Professional doesn't have to mean a national tour of a show. Professional could be regional theater, um, you know, an equity house or something like that. Something other than seeing your cousin play Reuben and Joseph in high school, watching your neighbors in the ensemble of Music Man at the local community theater. Something professional. 
How did it affect you, if it affected you at all? What your memories of the experience are? Not just the memories of the show, but the memories of the experience itself. I'm Trey Curioso on that. I'd leave some comments down below or on our Facebook page, or you can leave a video response as well. I think last week I failed to address this in my video, but I'm starting to record from my iPad now instead of using the camera that's on my laptop. Video quality is just a little bit better here on my iPad. The problem is, is that I always want to look here in the screen, but the camera itself, if you have an iPad, you know the camera is right over there at the end. So I've taken to just recording off into space as if I have an interviewer there that I'm talking to instead of looking directly at the camera or looking at myself, which is not really looking at the camera either. Actually, I think what it's turned out to be is I just have ADD and I just kind of look everywhere except for at the camera itself. Whoops. So actually, that's all I have to talk about today. I just wanted to share a little bit about my experiences with Miss Saigon and how between Miss Saigon and playing in pits in high school started leading me on this treacherous road of musical theater scholarship. So let us know down below what your first professional musical theater experience was. I will see you here next week and I hope you all have a great Tuesday.